As of today, GTA 6 announcement could be right around the corner, or I could have already posted this by the time the announcement has happened. It's hard to say for sure, but speculation is that an announcement is coming soon in the month of October. So despite where or when this video is actually coming out, GTA 6 is right around the corner. Within a year, two years, three years, we don't know for sure, but regardless, it's hard to not be excited for this game with some of the leaks that we got back in September. Some of the things that could happen or what we'll be seeing in GTA 6 is absolutely spontaneous and it's super, super exciting some of the new things that we will be getting, of course. I'm not gonna go into too much detail of all the gameplay features that we'll be getting new in GTA 6 Online or GTA 6 overall, but today I'm gonna be talking about one thing right Boxer must get correct unless they want GTA 6 to fail. The Grand Theft Auto franchise has always been pretty popular, but it has since become extremely popular in its, of course, online modes where you can play with your friends, have free mode, buy houses, do heists, and all that sort of fun stuff. That's, of course, why we love GTA Online heists and the cooperative fun that you can have with your friends. If GTA 6 doesn't want to fail, it needs and absolutely needs to get rid of modders and mod menus and that sort of thing in GTA 6 Online or whatever the equivalent will be of GTA 6 Online. And that reason alone is vital to GTA 6's online success. Cheating has always been a thing in PC online gaming and just online gaming in general, but recently it has gotten really, really bad and some of the things you can do with these mod menus are absolutely atrocious. You can crash people, kick people, get their IPs, and then once you get their IPs, there's a lot of other very dirty things you can do with their IP, of course. So it is vital that the PC side of things stays safe and stays secure because lots of people probably want to play this game on PC to get 4K and all those super cool settings and all the graphics and the single player mods of course that's definitely a reason why I would want to get it on PC and probably why I will be getting it on PC is for the single player mods. I did a little bit of research and it's really hard to say about how many people load into GTA Online on PC every single day because of course it's divided between Steam, Epic, and the Rockstar Launcher itself but well over 100,000 people play on GTA Online PC every single day day well it's a, it's an average of 90,000 but I could definitely see it being over a hundred thousand with epic games and rockstar launcher players if PC online is gonna be an issue as it has been in the past few years a lot of people probably won't get it on PC because they don't want to deal with the incredibly frustrating process of playing with modders and shit and getting crashed and getting kicked and getting money dropped on you and possibly getting banned with being with some of these modders and sessions or however it'll work maybe in GTA 6. If online is going to be littered with modders again, then there's no reason to even release a PC GTA 6, at least online. Of course, it'll still be worth it to have GTA 6 single player mods and some of the better graphical options. But like I mentioned before, GTA is no longer really a single player focused game. It is a multiplayer online focused game where you can do these fun crimes and activities with your friends. So if you take one out of three platforms away, GTA 6 overall won't fail, but Rockstar as a company will be in some deep, deep shit if one out of three of their platforms can't even, you know, securely play an online game with it being on PC and getting modded. Console, I think it'll still be okay. There'll be the god mode cheaters, there's gonna be the money glitchers and that sort of thing. So it is definitely vital that they secure their PC GTA 6 online. Because another thing I want to see in GTA 6 is possibly crossplay, so I can play on my PS5 and play with people on PC or Xbox, where it doesn't matter where you get it, you can still play with your friends. But if PC is going to be littered with modders, I don't want to be with those scumbags. I don't. I don't want to be with those people. At least the modders that are doing crashing, kicking, that sort of thing. People that you know mod for money or whatever. That's that's their thing. That's whatever. You know, you grind grinded for it once. Why would you have to grind for it again? Or have you know an account, one single social club account that crosses through all three platforms? Where if you're level 50 on PlayStation, you can be level 50 on Xbox and PC. That sort of thing would also be really cool. Or cross progression or cross platforming for GTA 6 Online will not be possible if one out of three of the platforms is littered with modders, of course. Even then, that brings up the question if PC is littered with modders again, could we cross play PlayStation and Xbox? 
Sure, absolutely. I'm not Sony or Microsoft, but I could definitely see that being an option if PC is going to be littered with modders again. And even then, some of the people that want to get GTA 6 but don't have a console and are stuck with PC and are stuck with GTA Online PC, then, I mean, are they going to buy it? That's just going to be a big question because they know in the past that it was frustrating to deal with before and they don't want to probably deal with it again. Personally for me, knowing what GTA Online has become with these modders, I would definitely not touch GTA 6 Online on PC if it were to even be remotely close to how insecure the game is currently right now. Over the recent years, I have been upgrading my PC to be able to play these cool next-gen games and play them at high graphical settings, but if it's gonna be insecure to play on, that begs the question, why play on it at all? Especially as a content creator, where if my social club name is out there, could they, you know, find my social club name, join my lobbies, crash me, kick me, get my IP, hack my social club account, you know? That sort of thing is already problems that we're even still currently dealing with in GTA 5 Online, and it's, it's a very scary world out there to play PC, especially as a normal guy that just, you know, has only a few hours a, a day to play GTA Online or just GTA video games in general. They don't want that to be postponed or frustrating if they're getting kicked out of lobbies, because that time adds up. If you're getting kicked out of a lobby or getting crashed, you have to load back into the game. It's fun to sit here and brainstorm theorize of some of the great things that could be coming to GTA 6 and GTA 6 Online, but it's also pretty important to think about some of the downsides and plan accordingly to what uh, console you'll be purchasing it on or platform you'll be purchasing it on, where your friends will be if there's no crossplay. Do we all agree to get it on PlayStation, PC, Xbox, that sort of thing? It's also really important, especially with my friend group that, you know, my, mainly focuses on PlayStation. I'm not going to get it on PC and expect to play with my PlayStation friends because crossplay really hasn't been a thing for Rockstar's games quite yet. Will it ever be a thing? I hope! But maybe Rockstar doesn't want to do that because they make more money if people buy it on three different platforms and then buy it on the new consoles and the next generation whenever the new PlayStations or Xboxes come out, so who knows. Regardless of how PC goes for GTA 6 Online, the game will definitely probably be a major, major success because it's Grand Theft Auto at this point. It's the most popular known IP in the entire world right now, the most sales, the most, like, everything, you know. So it's not going to completely fail, but if PC is the way it is now, then it's going to upset a lot of people because not everyone has the option to play it on a console platform if one of their PC platforms doesn't work. Let me know what you guys think down below in a comment, whether you'll be getting it on PC, PlayStation, Xbox, whether or not you're going to be waiting to get it on PC, and just let me know what you guys think overall. As always, please remember to drop a like and subscribe, turn on post notifications. I've been streaming a lot lately, so check out some of those streams. We mostly just play GTA Online, grind crates, grind money or whatever, but it's still a lot of fun and I've been uh, really, really happy to do it recently. So check out one of my streams if I'm streaming. I could be live right now. I don't know. Check it out. Uh, see you guys next one. Peace.